Ladies and gentlemen, when Jimmy Butler tries at the game of basketball, there's nobody better than him. But y'all already knew that. But anyways, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. As the Miami Heat beat the Utah Jazz 126 to 120, it's good to be back. I did not have a video after the Denver Nuggets game because I made a business decision to go to bed at halftime. Seems like I made the right choice. I was a little bit under the weather. I don't know if you could just do... <coughs> Oh, sorry about that. I pulled a playoff James Harden. I was choking there for a second. Uh, as I was saying, I guess you can still tell I'm a little bit under the weather, but nothing like a great heat win to get the spirits flowing again. Uh, so I apologize if my voice isn't 100%. But hey, it can't be any worse than the kids broadcasters on today's uh, kids cast. I'm sorry. I don't mean to pull the Barry Jackson and hate on the kids. Uh, I, I feel like they were pretty decent for the most part, given the circumstances. I think it's really hard to do what those kids do. And obviously, I'm sure they were pretty nervous. <coughs> make sure to drink your water, kids, because uh, I feel terrible. So make sure to like the video because I'm grinding through this sickness for y'all. But anyways, the Miami Heat were actually down four at halftime today. Something that was a little bit concerning for a few reasons. One, somehow the Utah Jazz were 20-0 this season when leading at halftime. Just a wild stat considering they're under 500 on the season as a whole. And on top of that, the Miami Heat actually had a pretty decent first half, I think. They were shooting like 51%. They hit like 10 triples. And when you have those kind of numbers on that efficiency, you shouldn't be losing. But going into that third and fourth quarter, the defense tightened up a ton. I thought Terry Rozier had an awesome second half. Obviously, Jimmy Butler was sensational. Finished with 37 points on the night. And there was also a little bit of a BAM takeover in the fourth quarter to kind of help the Heat pull away a little bit with a few minutes to go. Not, not super close a game, but it wasn't quite a blowout either. So I kind of want to go through the box score and talk about all these players here because there was a lot of great things to see tonight, starting with Jimmy Butler. 37 points, 7 assists, the man was cooking, and y'all know the graphic, it's JVP, JVP, listen, they had Jimmy Butler at 21 and a half points on the anonymous player prop betting app that does not sponsor me and is now not legal in Florida, so I will not say their name, they had him at 21 and a half points, you know, I smashed that over, so on top of the heat win, and on top of the Panthers win, and on top of the inner Miami win, I was watching them all, they was all going on at the same time, Threw a, little bit of, threw a little bit of money on all those boys, too. So on top of all those wins, your boy got it. Got a little bit of cash, and in in I was about to say the name of the app, but I will not say it because they don't sponsor me. Anyways, uh, Jimmy Butler's been cooking. That's the point of this entire thing. He really, really cared tonight. Had like four or five and ones, and he was screaming and one before he the shot even went in. He was screaming it as soon as he went up into the air. Jimmy, quick first step, got fouled and scored. There was this one play, it was like a fast break. He missed a wide open layup. And the next possession, you knew that boy wanted his get back. Like bulldozed right into the rim, had a nasty and one, started screaming at the crowd. He was screaming the whole fourth quarter. His voice probably sounds worse than mine right now. But he was cooking. And really, when Jimmy Butler tries, like I started the video, nobody can guard him, seriously. No one can guard him. Y'all remember in the playoffs last year, he was pointing at Drew Holiday, everyone's so-called best perimeter defender in the league, is saying, on your head. And it's, what an exciting player to watch. Seriously, I was sitting there watching Jimmy Butler tonight absolutely take over in that second half and saying, I am so lucky that I get to watch this guy play basketball for my team. Don't take that for granted, Heat fans. He is truly a one-of-a-kind player who had an amazing night to make sure that the Heat did come away with a win here. Uh, a nice one, because I don't like the scoreboard watch, as I always say, but I do believe the Heat jumped back up into sixth place over the Orlando Magic, who were idle tonight. Uh, so we do want the Magic to continue to lose, but I do like that song. I don't know if y'all follow or seen the Magic on TikTok, but the Orlando Magic. Orlando Mad, it's a good song. Check it out if you haven't already. Uh, but Jimmy was awesome. You got another start from Nikola Jovic, finished with eight points, four rebounds, three assists tonight. I felt like he was very much in the flow of the offense. He was three of six, so obviously very efficient. I like these nights for Jovic where you, you can't really tell that he's in the game. He's sort of a great complimentary piece. And I think if he does continue to start, that's kind of what he should be. A guy that you don't see many mistakes from, but he does sit the open three when he gets it. And that's what we saw tonight from him. Uh, shout out to Bam with a bow with 23 points and seven rebounds. The thing I really liked about him of late is they've kind of been going to him as the offensive hub in the fourth quarter. When the game tightens up and they need a bucket, they're saying, here, Bam, get the ball in the post and give us a bucket. The fact that this team and Eric Spolstra has that kind of confidence in him is something. <coughs> Guys, I'm out for the count. 
I, I feel like that Jimmy Butler game five in the finals in 2020 when he was leaning over the scorer's table. I've been recording for so long and I can't get through this video without coughing. Uh, so I apologize. I don't know how choppy this thing's gonna be. But Bam and the Bio was awesome tonight. Like I'm saying, they're going to him in the fourth quarter. Uh, and the boy was taking over like he has been the last couple weeks. You'd love to see it. Terry Rozier, only 14 points tonight. But, <coughs> but he was five for nine. Very efficient. Uh, that's kind of been my biggest gripe with Terry Rozier is the efficiency. But I felt like he played such in the flow of the offense today. Really took over in that third quarter when things, when he really couldn't buy a bucket. He said, my name is Terry Rozier. I'm shifty as hell. Let me get to my spots hit like a nasty fadeaway three in the corner. He really, I really think Terry Rozier took this game over. And that's when it kind of turned around in the Heat's favor. I don't even know if I'm going to upload this video. Uh, Jaime Hakez, 12 points. He was pretty good today as well. Uh, Caleb Martin, 18 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, and 3 blocks. One of them was like this nasty chase down block and Colin Sexton in the second half. You'd love to see the way Caleb's been playing of late. He is such an integral part to this team when he's playing this Eastern Conference Caleb level of basketball. Now, he did get smacked in the face late, went to the locker room. Uh, Eric Reese said that John Collins hit him in the face. I think it was actually Jimmy Butler, but I don't believe Caleb came back. So hopefully it's nothing too serious. Hopefully all of his teeth are intact. Uh, we'll see what happens there. And Hayward Highsmith played 18 minutes. only had two points, but low key. In that fourth quarter, things started to turn around again because of him. The defense was great. Had a very nice fast break dunk, forced a couple turnovers on their side. And then I also want to shout out Orlando Robinson. Uh, had to play 14 minutes tonight, only scored uh, none. He didn't score at all. But shout him out because without Kevin Love, he did his best to play the backup big because the Utah Jazz have like 19 seven-footers. Even Omer Yurtsevin was cooking, even though that boy had the ball get stuck on the back of the rim. Leave it to Yurtsevin to do something like that. But between him and John Collins and Laurie Markkinen and that, that Taylor Hendricks kid, uh, that team is big, hence why the Heat struggled with them. Uh, but also shout I want to shout out to on the jazz side who is it Keontae George 31 points four rebounds four assists that boy is really good uh, 6 of 14 from him so that's pretty much all I got to say about this game that's really all I can say about this game because I'm feeling terrible but if you did get through the video make sure to like and subscribe because that does help me out a lot the Miami Heat play again in a couple days for some bad team I forget who because actually the Heat I think have the easiest record left in the NBA, like strength of schedule wise, if not the easiest, one of the easiest. So uh, that's promising, right? Because we know the Heat always beat teams they're supposed to beat, right? No, not not at all. Uh, I thought they were actually blow, about to blow tonight's game, but they did it. Anyways, I'll see y'all next time. If I'm alive, peace out. Look, pull up in the city, trying to get that dead fast. Like, do it on my own, I don't need no dead weight. Like, had to kill them off, yeah, I need a headspace. You know this homegrown, bitch. Don't a fan, man. Hmm.